So it's been more connected to stop Benin by a high B lie. And that's Crook our drain. And here we have Big Ben Louie. Looking absolutely amazing. In the rain, and manage. What a mountain. Poor did. Could they cross the road right? This is the danger on this road. Them jump out in front of you. That's a hoodie crawl. I can tell it's a hoodie crawl with the naked eye, but... Mm, too difficult. We're out of Peter again! It's no speaking of day. Oh, bad mood. That's Ben Doreen. And that's Ben Manich. We've done both them. And we peds. Oh, very. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. Beautiful light. Bit of a temperature inversion going on down the road. Been up there, Ben and Doth. So this is the bit we wanted to come to. It's Rannoch Moor with Chris and Ben Booty. And over that way we have um, Peter's favourite mountain, Stop Coria Dare and Stop Gar. I still today those two. And somebody's just been pulled with the polis by the way, so uh, watch your speed when you come by this bit. 
pause where we are gone. Superb, eh? Superb. So that's in the middle of the Yep. Mm. three points. That'd be good if you get done. So this is just down by the King's House Hotel. We've got the big buckle looking absolutely resplendent. Beautiful wispy clouds, streaky clouds behind them. And now I'm zooming in on the curved ridge and the granite wall. There's the granite wall there, right in the middle. Coverage just to the left. Let's get a real good zoom in there. Let's see what's going on. See how he's on it. So I'll follow the coverage up. There's Kogri Tower up there. And then there's some the North Buttress. Must be that chappy down there. King's House Hotel. Um, Okay, this is arguably the finest mountain in Scotland. 
And it's cool. arguably the best angle as well in Scotland to photograph it from. This is the place to photograph it, it's Buccal Et of Moor. Now, tripod mounted camcorder, 20 times optical zoom. The area to the lower right hand side is the Rannock wall, with the sunlight just catching it now and no snow on it. So in front of that, that makes it the curved ridge, which is an awesome, awesome route. So I'm going to try and follow the curved ridge from as low down at the bottom of the Rannock Wall. It starts below the Rannock Wall, but the tasty stuff starts about the Rannock Wall. So there's the Rannock Wall behind this. So this is curved ridge with a wee bit of snow there. And we're heading up, heading up, it's a scrambling route. And then you're at the top of it. And Crowberry Tower is at the top of the Rannock Wall. I think Crowberry Tower's got no snow in it either. So that bit with the snow just above it is Crowberry Tower. And it's not far from Crowberry Tower to the top. And uh, the curve ridge finishes just before Crowberry Tower, and then you head round the back of Crowberry Tower and up to the, the top. So it's Buchel Etith Moor, the big Buchel. And this is the bit of they takes the photographs from. That's what Peter and I have been doing for the last wee while. I'll put the photographs on the, the video actually. So that's Glenetiff down there, Glenetiff. Over there, that's Chris and Ben Booty. Peter and I have done them. There's Peter there, chatting up a bird. Peter's pulled at Glen uh, Bookletiff Moor. Oh god. And the Anach Egach Ridge is over there on the right. This is us back on the single track road with passing places, Glen Etif. And a giga over there. Buchel Etif Moor. The guy came up here in a Ferrari with a GoPro sticking to the bonnet. Superb. So this is a view down Glen Etif all the way to the majestical 3,700 foot beast from sea level that is Ben Starav. Woo! And there we have uh, Chris and Ben Booty in the Glencoe Ski Centre just over there with the Black Rock Cottage. And uh, oh, what a day, what a day. Buccal Et of Moor. Can't get enough of that big chap. Rannock Wall. Curved Ridge. Crowberry Tower. The summit. That's that guy in that Ferrari, man. He's got the benefit. Hey, dude, you fucked your Ferrari. Name the film. Answers in the comments, please. It was a yellow one to make things easier. Well, look at a blue sky down there, Peter, behind Starav. Mm -hmm. Woo! So that's a 50 times zoom there. 50 times zoom on Ben Starav. Buccal Et of Moor from the side. So we should be able to see the Crowberry Gap. There's Crowberry Tower and Gap.
Marco over there. Thank you guys. Please spend the day. Back to the uh, corridor. some of this north buttress carry on here the north buttress Street way over there. We've got um, ooh, Glen Lion and uh, the old, what are they called Orky, the Orky. Benderine, Benishaladea, any of those things like that. Now then, now then, now then. Who used to stay in a house like this? Ooh. Now then, now then, now then, I've been outed as a pedo, so is my mate Gary Glitter. And a Kiga Fridge. Oh. It's treacherous here. Wee buckle. That's the summit there with the sun behind it. And the second window at the back. He never used to be a Mano, but he was promoted to be a Mano. Great walk, great walk. Waterfall. Camera taking photos of waterfall. El Pedro. Public ice rink. Deadly. Now then, now then, now then. Now then, roll up, roll up. Jimmy Savile's we use. And a key car park just behind it as well. Now we've reached the tourist trap. It is Bidian and Bia. Chancellor and the Anarchy could bridge up there somewhere. There we are, Pedro setting up for the day.
This is the Anarch Eger Ridge that we've been talking about. What's the big deal about it? Well, it's exposed on both sides and it's got this bit called the Crazy Pinnacles. And we'll know that when we come to it. By the time you've got there, you've done the Anarch Eger Ridge. There's folk up the top of one of them, which is quite good. So up that very, very top bit there, there's crazy pinnacles material, and there's somebody up there. I think you need a rope in the winter. So what I'm going to do here, actually, is zoom in to the crazy pinnacles, because that's them up there. Three folk on the crazy pinnacles. If you were up the Anakiga Ridge on the Saturday. The 7th of February 2015, and I think that might be you up the Crazy Pinnacles. Give me a shout and I'll give you the footage. There can only be so many people that would be brave enough to do that on a winter's day. Well, having said that, it doesn't look as though there's that much snow up there. There's folk off the Pinnacles, uh, just down a bit, over there. Mm. 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 Up there, up there. Three punters there. If you are one of those three, give me a shout. So let's uh, continue. Looking along to see what the pinnacles are all about. Nice wee bit of descent there. Descent, not descent. No data! Fucking no data! And we zoom out to get our bearings again. Okay, so still on the pinnacles. And along. And a bit up there. It's interesting. Okay. A friend of mine, Gordon Old, did a video, Glencoe Scrambles, and he describes that bit up there as being the entrance exam. Uh, and that's that drop that's now right in the middle of the picture now. So, that certainly scared Peter. It's exposed on both sides. Uh, that's some Bodak up there. First Monroe top. Uh, the Chancellor's about there somewhere as well. So there you go. Anach Egich Ridge. And when you come off it, you don't do what Peter and I did and head for the Papa Glen Co. You head down that left hand side, I would say. And it takes you right to the Clacky again, which is our next stop.
Well, we've reached the halfway in our photography trip. Um, we've been out since a uh, half six I left us, and it's now the back of one. We've made it to the clacky again. As I need to be home for five, we're going to have to forgo the bar meal. And I couldn't have the pint anyway, thanks to the nanny state we now live in, called Scotland. Thanks SNP. Bastards. And uh, over here we have the sign for the clacky again, with Biddy and behind us and the sun's coming back out over there behind the clack egg so I think we'll head back down the road so after the clack egg we've uh, driven all the way back to Loch Tower where we've got some nice uh, temperature inversion going down so that mountain up there is uh, Ben Derain that was the pointed one we got this morning that one over there Ben a Shaladea, we parked at the farm road entrance to that and behind it Ben Creachin and uh, no I'm wrong there because that is not Ben Doreen that one there is Ben Adothid yeah Doreen's around a bit there's a guy with his uh, selfie stick doing the old selfie stuff so we'll do a wee time lapse So here we are back at Loch Tower, excuse the road noise, which is uh, frozen, so there'll be no reflections, it's backlit, so I uh, don't think there's even a photo here is there Peter? Nah. nah. So we're not going to hang about here. Oh, you can oops, Ben of the third. Ben a Shaladea, there. There's where the coos were annoying the folk this morning. So we'll uh, push on. Okay, so we're back again at Ben Doreen on the way home. It's changed a bit since this morning. Peter reckons a load of the snow's melted. It should be apparent in the video, shouldn't it? So let's zoom in on the top of it. Ooh. Tasty zoom. And that one over there is called Ben Manich. It's actually a double peaked hill. Big rounded thing. That's what you need to watch out for when you're coming up these roads. They run right out in front of you. What's more disturbing? So we managed to resist the temptation to blow our money in the Green Welly and that is Ben Shalom up there somewhere. Still to do that. And looking round, we have Pedro videoing. That's Ben Moore to the left, Stabinian to the right. And on a lovely tree in the shot. Ben Moore Stabinian. Here we are now at fucking point. The banks are off roaming. The Ben Vane Vorlick. And Ben Dupke. So, we're about to drop Pedro off at his home, stays at White Inch, and uh, we went past the Titan Cran. That's where QE1 was about. And uh, look, the sun's almost down for the day. 
And there's Pedro's old college. It's now called the West College Scotland, Peter. I know. No Clyde Bank College.